Welcome to part three, or volume three, of Guardians of the Freaking Galaxy. Hey, you guys get the Milano Park somewhere safe? Guys? Maybe they got tired of hearing you yak. <sighs> this place gives me the creeps. The gang are still looking for their fabled monster, whatever that may be. Who knows, maybe it's another one of Groot's species. Or maybe it's another North American raccoon that was bio-engineered. I don't know, anything could happen here. It would suck to get busted in here. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. All right, the side passage has got to be somewhere around here. You wrote on what thing? I am Groot. What? You're telling me you just surfed it over? I am There we go. I think the side passage is around here somewhere. And we got some more components. You want to be sure to collect as many glowy objects as you can. They'll definitely help towards upgrading Star Lord's arsenal. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here! Yeah, I'm on it. The game will even tell you what this forklift thing is. There's a doorway behind that big thing. Someone help me push it. Look at this old beauty. I am Groot. A table! This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear? Hey, hand me that part. We finally made it to a workbench. Available perks are displayed when you activate it, and each perk requires a specific component. Let's see what we can craft for the moment. Okay, we got consumables, magnet, and rapid reload. The consumables magnet is self-explanatory. It just draws pickups toward you, so you don't have to walk out of your way to pick it up. Rapid reload lessens the time your gun takes in cooldown. Oh wait, we got more. Tactical stand and air glide. I'm definitely getting the air glide. That way I can stay in the air longer when I'm using the jet boots. But other than that, everything else is locked at the moment. I need to get more components. There's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. This is the part where the game teaches you about the rapid reloading. Not only can you negate the cooldown period if you exhaust your guns, but if you time it well, you'll shoot a big blast that will knock enemies back. And here it's going to be explained on screen. You have to press the right trigger as soon as the marker hits the green zone on the HUD. Alright, let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. And we got enemies that were made for punching, so somehow the hand-to-hand -hand combat works all of a sudden. <laughs> but no, you keep meleeing these... Meleeing? Is that even a word? You keep punching these guys in the face and they'll go down quickly. Peter Quill, I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. <laughs> well, there you go. That's Drax for you. He's the brute that doesn't know what a joke is. Or does he? Anyway, there's gonna be a collectible in this organic mass of stuff here. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. This is one of the many collectibles you can find on your journey. This particular item is... You know, I, don't, I honestly don't even know what the hell this thing is. <laughs> it's stated to be a spinal control unit, but it looks like some sort of extreme slingshot. And no, Rocket cannot use this thing as a weapon of mass destruction. It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Drax? 
We should be getting closer to the rest of the crew. The green and mean crew. Featuring Groot. Another freaky thing. How freaky. Kill it. Read my mind. And into another combat section with the weird squidgy aliens. And they are tough. I won't be damaging these guys anytime soon. That's where the stagger bar comes in. Kind of like the Final Fantasy games from 13 onwards, the more you actively well on bigger opponents, the more you fill up this white bar below their health bars. And getting the bar all the way up will break their guard and that's where you can dish out the most pain. However, Peter's current weaponry is shit. So even trying to stagger this thing is going to be a tall task. This is where Drax comes in handy. His special trait is crushing enemy stun bars. And it doesn't matter if the opponent in question is physically larger than Drax, he will toss that sucker around and make it easier to stun the thing. The only downside is that his damage is less than desirable, which makes little sense for his character, but gameplay wise it keeps him from being overpowered. God damn! <laughs> My turn. Oh, well, it was about time you showed up. Gamora is the polar opposite of Drax in that she does tremendous damage with her sword, even cutting through certain enemy shields, but has very little, if no, chance to stagger the actual opponent. Oh, and also, did I mention that she's the deadliest woman in the galaxy, and probably one of the hottest? Wait, what? I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble was not intended as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> Gamora and Drax outside of combat can serve two different roles. Gamora, for example, can get to hard to reach locations and even serve as an anchor point to get Star-Lord to higher ground. Drax, being the heavy, he can lift heavy shit. Moving blocks. Ah, the most useful of abilities. You can command Drax to lift and carry heavy platforms to where you need to go. He is that strong. The dude's been eating his cereal in the morning. Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Drax really dislikes Gamora, by the way. Which is insane. How can you hate Gamora? Unless if it's the version of Gamora from Avengers Endgame and Guardians 3, that version of Gamora is an asshole. I know, I know, time travel shenanigans, but, but still. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. Alright, Rocket, we're back on track. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, good for you. Oh, yeah. It ain't stealing it. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Great, Rocket fucks something up. You've got to be kidding me. Well, at least it's better than Starler fucking something up this time. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was rushed. It's probably some cute little nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Uh, you would want a challenge, Drax. Goddamn sadist. 
Will I make this jump? Go, Star Lord! Reach for the stars! Oh god, I did not make it! I don't know. That jump is hard. Let me see if I could go around. Like a church. Or a grave. The two are not mutually exclusive. Your head's about to be mutually exclusive from your body if you keep being a dick. Oh, let's see. I cannot make the jump from here, that's for sure. Ah, screw it. It's not worth taking damage from any more botched jumps. Hunting this thing kind of reminds me of this time when my hamster got loose and I chased her all over the basement. Ah, uh, was she a fearsome beast? Yeah, she had a mean bite. Did you guys have pets? I had an eyeball in a jar. It never blinked because it didn't have its eyelids, but it always looked like it wanted to. Whoa! Well, you got some timing. We got company. Now we'll never know what Drax had for a pet. You have a combination of the space pineapples and alien brains, and they are just as easy as they were the last couple of times. They are food for our quarry. They are not as easy as they were before. What gives? Gamora and Rocket just got taken down. Ah, oh, Flark indeed. This is fucked. But the situation is not lost. The game has a sort of last stand feature called the huddle. After filling up the huddle meter, you press L1 and R1 together to rally the group. And yes, time does freeze during this. It feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us. And yet... We cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. During the huddle, you need to pick the most appropriate answer for the group to get extra perks. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. The problem is, if we play it cocky, just one little mistake and they're gonna bring us down. Who's with me? You are I can't believe the leader, I fucked up. <laughs> okay, so you need to pay attention to what the group is saying in the background too, because it will say stuff like Gamora scared or Drax and Raccoon are pissed off or something. But you need to tie what those words are saying in the background into your Star Lord inspirational speech to get the most perks. Even if you fail the speech check, all the Guardians will come back at full health. But if you pass, not only will the Guardians come back at full HP, but you'll get a damage boost for Star-Lord as well as the other team members. And a kick-ass song will play in the background. If you turned off streaming mode, that is. Oh yeah. Yes, it's a good soundtrack, I know, but I can't play 70% of it. Maybe for one or two episodes tops, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he just did. Don't count on that being the new normal. Ah, I screwed up the rapid reload. Shit. Want some? Get some! Take the whole clip! Payback time, Scottsdales! How sweet it is! Yeah, sure, one baby top in the whole thing just racked dolls. <laughs> Bring on our monster! I'm in gold! Oh, good lord, Drax, keep it in your pants! Bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. Fair enough. Let's check the team's abilities. You can also take a look at your workbench perks from the screen, just to get an idea of what you want to buy next. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? Murder Mom. <laughs> I, I like that name for Gamora. That's a good nickname. Anyway, we got a computer. That's Rocket's field of expertise. Let's see him hack into it. Still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. Uh, I don't know. I'm just seeing an upright raccoon mess with a computer terminal. It's not really that impressive. Oh, you did it. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. Yeah, yeah. 
This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Our monster. This boss fight, if you can even call it that, boils down to you shooting all the boxes in the room. You can also command the others to help you take out the crates, and when all the crates are taken out, command Groot to ensnare the beast. It's a tutorial boss fight for sure, but it will help you prepare for the craziness that will eventually come. A Katanian hunter needs no damage. I will enjoy this! But it can still run! Gotta be stuck with! Flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. <laughs> I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Guys, seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, now that is a monster. All right, enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Whose name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Well, there goes the hardest boss fight in the whole entire game. Holy shit! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruined tracks. Go! All right, now we got a flying sequence that I can only describe as Star Fox, but made Ooh, trashy. You can fly, and it's entirely on rails. You can shoot, and you can boost. That's about it. Oh, and you can also barrel roll, but it's not really the barrel roll from Star Fox. It's just, it's just a thing. I am holding my buttocks as Peter Blue instructed. And also, the controls are completely reversed. As in, you press up to actually go up, which might sound normal, but for pilots, that's kind of dangerous. So, switch the controls right away. These sequences are few and far between. I kind of expected there to be more flying sections, but no. There's only two or three of these in the whole entire game. That's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sardouf. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! Drax is too sexy for a shirt. See? And I it's cannot so boost for some reason. Says watch out. Yeah, thanks for the heads up! Can I boost? I think Rocket needs to tell you that you can actually boost in order to start boosting. 
which is kind of stupid. Oh, no, I've got this. Clearly. Watch it. Don't get us killed, Will. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button. What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added. Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Yeah, there we go. Needs rocket to tell you. But why would Peter not know shit about a ship? And also, why would Rocket not tell Peter about the stuff he added on his ship? <laughs> we're cutting it close, except we're not. This section is easy. You have to try your best to die. Yeah, and that's what I call a win, people. How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. All in a day's work for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, son of a... Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Say Hal's hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corral. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? This choice actually matters. Hide the tech. That's going to help us out in the long term in regards to how the Milano oh, works. Great. Space llama thingy? I'll convince Corell the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corell. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Silence, 
prison. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. He is a freaking raccoon! Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here, prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Hey, watch the jacket. Get that gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be... I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very... Very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the Captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the Captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait, we'll never no, mention the daughter. Oh shit, QTE time! No, seriously, what is this, 2008? Oh yeah, this is definitely a 2008 quick time event. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Did that goal, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Thanks. Mom wouldn't be proud. 
Christ if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> well, shit happens. Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this.